Now here we are again with a tip video for AZ Screen Recorder and we are in the settings area. Now what you've got is if you go over to the videos that you've previously recorded we can play them and on the bottom right of the screen which I'm not going to click on because I think this video may stop recording we can extract a single frame. So let's say we've recorded it, we've played it, we go over here and we have an area here which looks like this. So this is one single frame from a video that I've made previously. Now watch this. Click on it and we can hit crop. And the tip of the day for me here is to look at the cropped area and see what we can do with it. And especially how it comes out in some set shapes. Now at the moment I'm in a free area and I can change all of that by going to free 16 by 9. 5 by 4 and I can change the ratios square one if I want to change the shape I can go into say a oval a square straight away or a circle circles especially good but let's look at the oval if I want to come out and I can just drag this out I can get a transparent PNG background on any shape I wish also into the different ratios this is extremely useful for somebody like me who always wants to cut up images and the reason I like it so much on this tip on AZ Recorder is it gives me that ratio look, that ratio of a set shape and I, once I save it and I can actually save it but I'm going to come back slightly, come back again and two that I've made earlier, here is one here and you can see that the shape, the grey areas to the top, bottom, left and right, they are transparent so they can be overlaid in another video or wherever you wish to go. I particularly like working towards the idea that I can use this inverse image and the real image to overlay highlights of areas. So that was it for a short tip video for AZ Screen Recorder, extract a frame and then crop.